Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In today's video, we will be exploring the special topic, 30 famous music stars of the 70s to 80s and their looks now. We'll not only reminisce about their iconic performances and unforgettable hits but also see how they've transformed over the decades. And don't forget to answer the question at the end of our video. Get ready to be amazed by their incredible journeys and current looks. Number 30, Elton John born Reginald Kenneth Dwight on March 25, 1947, in Pinner, Middlesex, England, is one of the most famous and influential music artists in history, with a career spanning over six decades. His song, Your Song, released in 1970, became one of his most renowned ballads. Elton John is known for his colorful and energetic performances, along with his exceptional songwriting and piano playing skills. His career has garnered numerous prestigious awards, including five Grammys, two Oscars, and a Tony, earning him the EGOT status, an artist who has won all four major entertainment awards. Beyond music, Elton John is actively involved in charitable activities, especially through the Elton John AIDS Foundation, which has raised millions of pounds to support those living with HIV and AIDS. He was knighted in 1998 and awarded the Royal Honor in 2020, currently, Elton John is enjoying life after completing the Farewell Yellow Brick Road tour, which ran from 2018 to 2023, becoming the highest-grossing tour in history with 6.1 million tickets sold. He continues to engage in musical and social activities, with a recent appearance at the 2024 Toronto Film Festival to premiere a documentary about his life and career. Number 29, David Bowie, born on January 8, 1947, in Brixton, London, is celebrated for his groundbreaking music and constant reinvention. His song, Space Oddity, released in 1969, was one of his first major hits, marking the beginning of his illustrious career. Bowie is remembered for his creative and ever-evolving musical style, ranging from glam rock to electronic and pop music. His career spanned over five decades, from the 1960s until his death in 2016. Throughout his career, he released 26 studio albums, including iconic records like The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and The Spiders from Mars, and Let's Dance. David Bowie won numerous prestigious awards, including six Grammys, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996. Besides music, he was also an actor and visual artist, appearing in notable films such as The Man Who Fell to Earth and Labyrinth. He passed away on January 10, 2016, at the age of 69, after battling cancer. His final album, Black Star, was released just two days before his death and is seen as a farewell gift to his fans. Number 28, Tina Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Brownsville, Tennessee, was famously known as the Queen of Rock and Roll and one of the most influential singers in music history. Her 1984 hit, What's Love Got to Do With It, catapulted her to stardom. Tina was beloved for her powerful, dynamic, and emotional performances. Her career spanned over six decades, starting in the 1950s with Ike Turner and later flourishing as a solo artist in the 1980s. She won a total of 12 Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, once with Ike Turner in 1991 and again as a solo artist in 2021. Besides her music, Tina Turner contributed significantly to raising awareness about domestic violence through her autobiography, I, Tina, and the film, What's Love Got to Do With It? She passed away on May 24, 2023, in Kusnacht, Switzerland, at the age of 83. Before her death, Tina lived a peaceful life in Switzerland with her husband, Erwin Bach, and retired in 2009 after her 50th anniversary tour.
Number 27, Joni Mitchell was born on November 7, 1943, in Fort McLeod, Alberta, Canada. She is one of the most influential singer-songwriters in music history, known for her personal lyrics and innovative compositions that blend folk, pop, and jazz elements. Her 1970 song, Big Yellow Taxi, propelled her career to new heights, her career has spanned over six decades, starting in the 1960s. She has won 11 Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. Her album, Blue, released in 1971, ranked third on Rolling Stone's list of 500 Greatest Albums of All Time in 2020. Besides music, Mitchell is also a talented painter and has designed many of her album covers. She is active in social and political causes and received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2002. After suffering a stroke in 2015, she spent years recovering and recently returned to live performances, including a surprise appearance at the 2022 Newport Folk Festival. Now, at age 80, Joni Mitchell continues to contribute to music and art, and she released the album, Joni Mitchell at Newport, in 2023. Do you remember the familiar tune of her hit, Big Yellow Taxi? If so, leave a 1 in the comments. Number 26, Mick Jagger born Michael Philip Jagger on July 26, 1943, in Dartford, Kent, England, is the lead singer and a founding member of the legendary rock band The Rolling Stones. The song, I Can't Get No, Satisfaction, released in 1965, brought him and The Rolling Stones worldwide fame, topping both the Billboard Hot 100 and the UK Singles Chart. Jagger is known for his energetic performances and distinctive raspy voice. His career has spanned over six decades, from the 1960s to the present. He has won numerous prestigious awards with the Rolling Stones, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989 and the UK Music Hall of Fame in 2004. He was also knighted in 2003 for his contributions to music. At 80, Jagger remains active in music and continues to tour with the Rolling Stones. Recently, he released the single, Easy Sleazy, in 2021. Number 25, Dolly Parton, born on January 19, 1946, in Locust Ridge, Tennessee, is renowned for her over six-decade-long music career. Known as the legend of country music, she has famous hits like Jolene and I Will Always Love You. Her style is characterized by her unique voice, charm, and joyful personality that always delights audiences. She has won 11 Grammy Awards and numerous other prestigious accolades, including awards from the Country Music Association and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Beyond music, Parton founded the Imagination Library, a program that sends free books to children from birth to age 5 to promote reading. Now, at age 78, Dolly Parton remains active in music and entertainment. In 2023, she released her first rock album, Rockstar and continues to be involved in various charitable and artistic projects. Parton also announced plans for a Broadway musical titled, Hello, I'm Dolly, set to premiere in 2026. Number 24, Marvin Gaye born on April 2, 1939, in Washington, D.C., was one of the most influential artists in soul and R&B music, known as the Prince of Soul. His landmark song, What's Going On, released in 1971, achieved great commercial success and is considered one of the greatest albums of all time, addressing social issues such as war, poverty, and racism. Gay was remembered for his emotive voice and captivating performance style. His career spanned over two decades, starting in the 1960s with Motown Records. 
He won several prestigious awards, including two Grammys for Sexual Healing in 1982. His personal life was troubled, and he tragically died on April 1, 1984, one day before his 45th birthday, at the hands of his father following a family dispute. Marvin Gaye was honored posthumously with numerous awards, including the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His music continues to live on and deeply influence generations of artists. Number 23, Donna Summer, known as the Queen of Disco, rose to fame during the disco era of the 1970s. One of her most famous songs, Hot Stuff, released in 1979, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and became an iconic disco anthem. Donna Summer's career spanned over four decades, during which she won five Grammy Awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2013. She was the first artist to have three consecutive double albums reach number one on the Billboard 200 chart and had four singles top the Billboard Hot 100 within 12 months. These achievements solidified her status as one of the world's leading female artists. Beyond her music career, Summer made significant contributions to charitable and social causes. She passed away on May 17, 2012, in Naples, Florida, from lung cancer at the age of 63. Her life left a profound impact on fans and fellow artists, and she is remembered as one of the greatest icons of disco music. Number 22. Bruce Dickinson is best known as the lead singer of the heavy metal band Iron Maiden, renowned for his energetic performances and wide operatic vocal range. The song that catapulted him and Iron Maiden to global fame was, Run to the Hills, released in 1982. This song became not only a major hit but also a heavy metal anthem. Dickinson's career has spanned over four decades, starting in the 1970s with smaller bands and reaching its peak when he joined Iron Maiden in 1981. He left Iron Maiden in 1993 to pursue a solo career but returned in 1999 and continues to perform with the band to this day. Besides music, Dickinson has been a pilot for Astraeus Airlines and founded the aircraft maintenance company Cardiff Aviation. He is also involved in various other activities, including writing novels and screenplays, creating a beer with Robinson's Brewery, and competing internationally in fencing. At 65, Bruce Dickinson continues to perform with Iron Maiden and maintain his solo career. In 2024, he released a new solo album titled The Mandrake Project, marking a strong return to music. Number 21, Stevie Nicks, born on May 26, 1948, in Phoenix, Arizona, is famous as a member of the band Fleetwood Mac and for her successful solo career. Her song, Edge of Seventeen, from her debut solo album, Bella Donna, released in 1981, reached high positions on music charts and brought her closer to the public. Stevie Nicks is known for her mystical and graceful performance style, unique and emotional voice. Her career has spanned over five decades, earning numerous prestigious awards, including eight Grammy nominations and two American Music Awards. With Fleetwood Mac, she won the Grammy for Album of the Year with Rumors in 1978. In addition to her music, Stevie Nicks is known for her contributions to mental health awareness and drug prevention. At 76, Nicks remains active in music and performance. She recently announced a performance in Glasgow after having to postpone due to an injury. Number 20, Billy Joel, born William Martin Joel on May 9, 1949, in the Bronx, New York City, is known as the Piano Man, 
a title taken from his breakthrough song released in 1973, Billy Joel's style is a blend of pop, rock, and classical elements, characterized by his warm voice and excellent piano skills. His career has spanned over six decades, from the 1960s to the present, with 13 studio albums and numerous hits like, Uptown Girl, and, Just The Way You Are. He has won six Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year for, 52nd Street, released in 1978. Beyond music, Joel is involved in charitable and social activities. He was one of the first artists to hold a rock tour in the Soviet Union in 1987, marking a historic event in music. At 75, Billy Joel continues to perform and maintain his music career, notably with annual concerts at Madison Square Garden. Recently, he released the single, Turn the Lights Back On, marking his return to writing and releasing new music. Number 19, Marilyn McCoo, born on September 30, 1943, in Jersey City, is the lead female vocalist of the group The Fifth Dimension, known for the song, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In, which topped the Billboard charts and won two Grammy Awards. McCoo's career has spanned over six decades. She has won a total of eight Grammy Awards, including Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with vocals for the song, You Don't Have to Be a Star, to be in my show, with her husband Billy Davis Jr. Besides music, McCoo is a member of the Sigma Gamma Rho charity organization and serves on the board of the Los Angeles Mission. Now, at 80, Marilyn McCoo continues to enjoy a happy life with her husband in Beverly Hills, California. The couple continues to perform and recently released a new album titled, Blackbird, Lennon McCartney Icons, in 2021, honoring music legends John Lennon and Paul McCartney. They also celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in 2019, showcasing their enduring love in the entertainment world. Number 18 Ringo Starr, born Richard Starkey on July 7, 1940, in Liverpool, England, is globally known as the drummer of the legendary band The Beatles. His song, Photograph, released in 1973, achieved worldwide fame, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US and the UK singles chart. Ringo Starr is remembered for his rock and pop music style, warm voice, and unique drumming. His career has spanned over six decades, from joining the Beatles in 1962 to the present. After the Beatles disbanded, Starr continued a successful solo career, releasing several popular albums like, Ringo, and, Good Night Vienna. He has won numerous prestigious awards, including two inductions into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, once with the Beatles in 1988 and once for his solo career in 2015, currently, at 84. Ringo Starr continues to perform and create music. Recently, he released the album, What's My Name, in 2019, maintaining a significant influence in the music industry. Number 17, Barry Manilow, born Barry Allen Pincus on June 17, 1943, in Brooklyn, New York, rose to global fame with his song, Mandy, released in 1974, which reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Manilow is known for his pop and ballad style, combined with emotional performances. His career has spanned over seven decades, starting in the 1960s and continuing to the present, he has released over 30 studio albums and achieved significant success. Throughout his career, Manilow has won both Grammy and Tony Awards. Beyond music, he is actively involved in charitable and social activities, particularly in music education and supporting young artists. At 81, Barry Manilow continues to perform. Recently, he released the album, Night Songs 2, in 2020 and still holds live performances. 
He is recognized as one of the most influential artists in the music industry and continues to contribute to art and community. Number 16, Patti Smith, born on December 30, 1946, in Chicago, Illinois, is known as the punk poet laureate and one of the most influential artists in the punk rock movement in New York during the 1970s. Her debut album, Horses, made a significant impact with the famous song, Gloria. Patti Smith is remembered for her powerful, emotional performances and sharp lyrics, blending rock and poetry. Her career has spanned over five decades, recognized by numerous prestigious awards, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007 and the National Book Award in 2010 for her autobiography, Just Kids. Besides music, Patti Smith is also a writer and visual artist. She has published several books and exhibited her artwork. Now, at 77, Patti Smith continues to create and perform. In 2021, she released the album, Live at Electric Lady and regularly participates in cultural events and performances. She is seen as an icon of freedom and creativity, a role model for many generations of artists and punk music lovers worldwide. Number 15, Lionel Richie, born on June 20, 1949, in Tuskegee, Alabama, gained fame in the 1970s as a member of the Commodores. His song, Hello, released in 1984, marked a brilliant solo career, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. He is known for his emotional ballads and warm, expressive voice, his career has spanned over five decades, selling over 100 million records worldwide making him one of the best-selling artists of all time. Richie has won numerous prestigious awards, including four Grammy Awards and the Johnny Mercer Award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2016. He was also awarded the Gershwin Prize for Popular Song by the Library of Congress in 2022 and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame the same year. Beyond music, Richie is actively involved in social causes, notably co-writing the song, We Are the World, with Michael Jackson in 1985 to raise funds for famine relief in Africa. At 75, Lionel Richie continues his music career and participates in various public activities, including serving as a judge on American Idol since 2018. Number 14, Rod Stewart, born on January 10, 1945, in Highgate, London, is renowned for his distinctive raspy voice and is considered one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with over 120 million records sold worldwide. One of his most iconic songs, Maggie May, released in 1971, topped the charts in both the UK and the US. Stewart is known for his diverse musical styles, including rock, pop, blue-eyed soul, and folk rock. His career has spanned over six decades, beginning in the 1960s with the Jeff Beck Group and Faces before embarking on a successful solo career. He has won numerous prestigious awards, including a Grammy and Brit Award, and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994 and knighted in 2016. Besides his music career, Stewart is also actively involved in charitable and social activities. Currently, at 79, he continues to perform and release new albums. Recently, he completed a tour and released the album, The Tears of Hercules, in 2021. Number 13, Joan Jett, born on September 22, 1958 in Wynwood, Pennsylvania, is famous as the lead vocalist of Joan Jett and the Blackhearts and a founding member of the all-female rock band The Runaways. 
Her song, I Love Rock and Roll, propelled her to the peak of her career, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and selling over 10 million copies. She is known for her strong rock sound, rebellious persona, and unique image. Jet's music career has spanned over four decades, from the 1970s to the present, with significant commercial and artistic success. She has won numerous prestigious awards and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2015. Currently, at 65, Jet continues to perform and record new music. In 2023, she and the Blackhearts released a new EP titled, Mindsets, and maintain performances worldwide. Number 12. Karen Carpenter, born on March 2, 1950, in New Haven, Connecticut, was the lead singer and drummer of the Carpenters. One of their most famous songs, We've Only Just Begun, released in 1970, helped them become one of the leading acts of the 1970s. Karen was remembered for her emotional voice and exceptional drumming skills, a rarity among female singers at the time. Her career spanned from the late 1960s to the early 1980s, with hits like, Close to You, Top of the World, and Rainy Days and Mondays. The Carpenters won numerous prestigious awards, including Grammy Awards, and were recognized as one of the best pop groups of all time. Beyond her music career, Karen Carpenter was also known for her battle with anorexia nervosa, a then little-known illness. Despite her efforts to recover, her health deteriorated, and she passed away from heart failure on February 4, 1983, at the age of 32. Her life and career have been portrayed in numerous films and documentaries, continuing to inspire generations of artists and fans worldwide. Number 11. David Soule, born David Richard Solberg on August 28, 1943, in Chicago, Illinois, gained fame with his warm voice and pop, soft rock style leaving a lasting impression on fans worldwide. His song, Don't Give Up On Us, released in 1977, topped the Billboard Hot 100 and the UK Singles Chart, catapulting his name to global fame. David Soul's career spanned over five decades, from small TV roles in the 1960s to becoming a renowned music and acting star. He released several successful albums, including David Soul and Playing to an Audience of One. David Soule passed away on January 5, 2024, in London, England, at the age of 80, after battling COPD and lung cancer. Before his death, he remained active in the arts and continued his acting career in London's West End, leaving a rich musical and artistic legacy. Number 10, Debbie Harry, born on July 1, 1945, in Miami, Florida, is the lead singer of the band Blondie. She is known for her unique punk rock style, signature platinum blonde hair, and cool demeanor. The song, Heart of Glass, brought her and Blondie worldwide fame, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Debbie Harry's music career has spanned over five decades, starting in the 1970s when Blondie was formed and became a punk and new wave icon. Blondie has sold over 40 million records worldwide and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006. Besides music, Debbie Harry has had an impressive acting career with over 30 roles in films and TV shows, including Hairspray and My Life Without Me. In 2017, Blondie released the album Pollinator, and they continue to perform at major music events worldwide. At 79, Debbie Harry still maintains her style and rebellious spirit inspiring many generations of artists. Number 9. Kate Bush, born on July 30, 1958, in Bexley Heath, Kent, England, is known for her innovative and experimental art rock style. 
Her song, Wuthering Heights, released in 1978, made her the first female artist to achieve a number one on the UK singles chart with a self-written song. Kate Bush is remembered for her magical, mysterious, and emotional performances, combining rich imagery and literary lyrics. Her career has spanned over four decades, starting in the 1970s when she was just 19 years old. Throughout her career, Kate Bush has won numerous prestigious awards, including the Brit Award for Best Female Solo Artist in 1987 and the Ivor Novello Award for Outstanding Contribution to British Music in 2002. She was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2013 and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2023. Currently, at 65, Kate Bush continues her vibrant music career. Her song, Running Up That Hill, had a remarkable resurgence when it featured in the series, Stranger Things, in 2022, reaching the top of several charts and introducing her music to a new generation. Number 8. Linda Ronstadt, born on July 15, 1946, in Tucson, Arizona, is known as one of the most versatile voices in music, covering genres such as rock, country, light opera, and Latin music. One of her biggest hits, You're No Good, reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1974. Her career spanned over four decades, from 1967 to 2011. During this time, she won 11 Grammy Awards, three American Music Awards, and an Emmy Award. Additionally, she received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014. Beyond her music career, Ronstadt has made significant contributions to society, particularly in advocating for artists' rights and preserving traditional music. She published her autobiography, Simple Dreams, a musical memoir, in 2013, and a documentary about her life, Linda Ronstadt, The Sound of My Voice, was released in 2019, currently retired, Ronstadt lives a peaceful life. She suffers from progressive supranuclear palsy, a degenerative neurological condition that has left her unable to sing. Despite this, she continues to engage with fans through public appearances and speaking engagements. Number 7. B.J. Thomas, born Billy Joe Thomas on August 7, 1942, in Hugo, Oklahoma, is best known for his song, Raindrops Keep Fallin' on My Head, which reached number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1969 and was featured in the film, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. He was renowned for his pop, country, and gospel music style, with a career spanning over five decades. Throughout his career, Thomas won five Grammy Awards, primarily in gospel and inspirational music categories. He was also inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2014 for Raindrops Keep Fallin' on My Head. Besides music, he was well known for his endorsements for major brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Thomas passed away at 78 on May 29, 2021, in Arlington, Texas, after battling stage 4 lung cancer. Number 6. Cliff Richard is one of England's most famous singers, with a career spanning over 65 years. He first gained fame with his single, Move It, in 1958, considered the first British rock and roll song to enter the top 10 of the UK singles chart. One of his iconic songs, Devil Woman, released in 1976, reached number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. Cliff Richard is remembered for his pop and rock and roll music style, with a powerful and emotive voice. His career has spanned several decades, and he has won numerous prestigious awards, including three Brit Awards and two Ivor Novello Awards. 
He is also the only artist to have singles in the top 10 UK charts in six consecutive decades from the 1950s to the 2000s. Currently, at 83, he continues his music career, living between Barbados and Portugal. Recently, he released the album, Music, The Air That I Breathe, in 2020 and continues to perform on international stages. Number 5. Frankie Valli, born Francesco Stephen Castelluccio on May 3, 1934, in Newark, New Jersey, is the lead vocalist of the Four Seasons, famous since the 1960s. His signature song, Can't Take My Eyes Off You, released in 1967, is one of his most memorable hits. Valli is known for his powerful falsetto voice, which helped him and the Four Seasons achieve great success in the 1960s and 1970s. His career has spanned over six decades, from the 1950s to the present. He has released numerous albums and won many prestigious awards, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990. At 90, he continues to perform and maintain his music career. Recently, he has been on tour and still enjoys immense popularity among fans worldwide. Number 4, Anita Ward is best known for her disco hit, Ring My Bell, released in 1979, which quickly reached number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100, R&B, and dance charts in the US, as well as in several other countries, including the UK, Canada, and Spain. Ward is remembered for her cheerful and energetic disco style. She began her music career in the late 1970s after graduating with a degree in psychology from Rust College and working as a temporary teacher to pursue her singing career. Ring My Bell was initially written for Stacey Ladisaw but was given to Ward, and it became her biggest hit. After Ring My Bell, she released several more albums and singles, but none achieved the same level of success. She then returned to teaching and focused on her family. Currently, at 67, Anita Ward continues to perform and participate in music events. On January 23, 2024, she will be part of the First Ladies of Disco show in Las Vegas and will also appear in the PBS series Disco, Soundtrack of a Revolution. Number 3, Andy Gibb was the youngest brother of the Bee Gees members, Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb. His hit, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, released in 1977, reached number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 and brought him international fame. Andy Gibb was known for his blend of pop and disco, with a warm voice and captivating performance style. His career spanned from the 1970s to the early 1980s. Gibb achieved great success with three consecutive singles topping the Billboard Hot 100, I Just Want to Be Your Everything, Love Is, Thicker Than Water, and Shadow Dancing, making him the first solo artist to achieve this feat, he faced many personal challenges, including substance abuse and complex relationships. He passed away on March 10, 1988, in Oxford, England, from myocarditis, a heart condition, at the age of 30. Number 2, Janet Gardner, born on March 17, 1962, in Juneau, Alaska, is the lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist of the all-female glam metal band Vixen. Gardner is famous for songs like, Edge of a Broken Heart, and, Cryin', which brought Vixen international fame in the 1980s, with a career spanning over four decades, Gardner won the Independent Music Awards Vox Pop with the song, I Try, for Best Hard Rock, Metal Song, currently, at 62. Janet Gardner remains active in the music industry. 
She has released several solo albums and collaborated with her husband, Justin James, with their latest album, No Strings, released in June 2023. She maintains a good relationship with former Vixen members and continues to perform and compose music. Number 1. Leo Sayer, born Gerard Hugh Sayer on May 21, 1948, in Shoreham by Sea, England, is known for his hit song, When I Need You, released in 1977, which reached number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US and the UK singles chart. Sayer is remembered for his pop rock style and high, warm voice that brought deep emotions to his listeners. Leo Sayer's career has spanned over five decades, starting in the 1970s and continuing to the present. He has released many albums and had other hits such as, You Make Me Feel Like Dancing, and, The Show Must Go On. Besides his success in music, Sayer has appeared on various television shows, including, The Muppet Show, and, Celebrity Big Brother. At 76, Leo Sayer remains active in the arts. He became an Australian citizen in 2009 and continues to perform and release music there. Recently, he released the album, Restless Years, in 2015 and toured in Australia and Singapore. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane with Hollywood inside 1960s. Let us know who your favorite star is by leaving their name in the comments below, and we'll feature them in upcoming videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into your favorite celebrities past and present. Stay tuned for our next exciting video.